I'd like to welcome you to the uh, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Dredge Potter. This is one of the oldest vessels that the Army owns and the dredge is 260 feet long, 6 inches. So um, right now it's docked here at Mel Price Lock and Dam and we're doing open tours for people that want to come aboard the dredge and see how one works. We're stepping onto the bottom deck and the first room we're going to go into is the wire room. Each one of these spools is um, let out to two anchors that are crossed in the river and the um, dredge, whenever they're dredging, will be moved along by these wires. And so um, each anchor weighs about 6,000 pounds and on each one of these spools there's about a mile of wire. And you come into this room, this is the pump room, and there are two pump or two motors in this room to run one pump. And the uh, motors are 1,200 horsepower all together. And basically whenever the water and slurry and sand is brought in through the dustpan head, it comes in through that pipe down there, goes up and goes out of the boat and goes along the side of it and there's a pipeline that they connect to the back of the boat and it's about 800 feet long and that is where the discharge of the uh, dredge material is sent. Now while the boat is underway they make all of their own water on the boat so here's the storage tank they can hold 5,000 gallons of water um, in the tanks and that's what they use for their cooking, cleaning, washing down the decks, everything and uh, basically there's a system on here where the generator heat is used to make the water. Now this is the generator room in here and um, there's a computer system that runs the generators. This towboat right here is the Kimswick. It's what pushes the dredge around whenever they have their pipeline out. This is the back of the uh, discharge pipe right here that connects to the pipeline. This is the mechanics room in here, and um, there's a backup drive system right here so that if they have something happen upstairs, they can drive the boat from down here. There's also an electrician's room underneath of this room. And once we get out here, we're standing right above the dredge dustpan head, and the dustpan head is about 35 feet wide. It's got 20 nozzles on it that actually, um, there's water sent through the smaller pipe to stir up the bottom of the river and then this large flexible pipe is where the water is brought into the boat. So the dredge operator can maneuver this head by raising it and lowering it on that A-frame hoist there. So whenever they're dredging the operator has controls up in the pilot house to be able to maneuver that dredge up and down. Once we get in this room, this is where the uh, boat is driven from. So basically, the pilot has the ability to drive here in the middle, and they use um, electronic charts to help them steer the boat and to know where they are, know what boats are coming down river, know what structures are in the river. They've also got a radar screen there to help them navigate by. So the sticks control the rudders, and the uh, levers in the middle control the speed of the boat. And then this is the actual pilot of the boat, Thomas, That's right. and um, he's worked here for several several years, worked on some other boats that we have in our fleet. <laughs> this particular dredge, dredge is 30 foot, so obviously in the higher stages there's no need for us to dredge, um, but we're constantly monitoring. We have an engineering side of the house, 